Hey there, gang. Jack Lair here. Uh, I've got uh, Pikachu, Maximo, and Voodoo here to welcome some new members to my desk. Uh, found these guys at Family Dollar, which is a chain around here, and they are the Quick Change Robot Systems. Uh, there are four of them, which I found through Wandering and decided to pick them all up. They were two dollars each. Uh, apparently there's a... whatever that is. Uh, a jet, a motorcycle, and another jet. So, thought it would be fun to kind of open them up with you guys and take a look. So let's take a look and see what these guys look like. Maximo, stop hogging. Just stay. Your time's coming. Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and and I'll show you them in the box, and then I'll go ahead and pull them all out, and we'll show you here. Now this is the motorcycle guy. This is the guy that I am unable to identify. He comes with all kinds of crap. Looks like he might be a lion? Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure that one out. This is one of the jet guys. with the series is this guy because he turns into a stealth bomber. So let me uh, take a little break. I'll come back and uh, show you what these guys look like once they're opened up. All right, we're gonna start off with the motorcycle guy. Uh, none of them have names as far as I can tell. Uh, nothing on the packaging unless there's a label somewhere in there. Now if you'll notice, he's standing up. That's impressive all in itself. Uh, now I have no clue how to transform him. But let's see what I can do based on the whopping three stage photo here. Okay, he's that. Whatever that is, and then he looks like that. Let's see if I can do that. Before and after. Now I'm actually impressed that that happened, because that actually looks remarkably like that. I'm kind of impressed. Now it also fits together really nicely and most of it, I mean, it's, uh, the legs don't quite sit well, but the wheels do actually spin somewhat. I mean, it's not gonna, doesn't roll, but I'm not expecting much. The nice thing is that, see how the arms, there we go, right there. The arm actually holds onto that and holds that in place. And it's got a kickstand, which is just really cool. I don't know how you keep the kickstand up. I guess you just don't because it's for looks. But it actually sits like that. That's going to look really cool uh, on my desk at work. Anyways, on to the next. Once again, he stands up. Now that means that these things are instantly better than any GoBot I ever had. I'm sorry for people who love GoBots, but they were crap. Anyways, now, one of the things I do want to point out on this guy is that the joints are actually ball joints. So you've got a pretty good range of motion. Like I said, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Okay, now let's see if we can turn this guy into an airplane. Okay, so there it is. And there it is. This one I'm a little less impressed with. One of it, first of all, it won't stay right there. The other thing is it does not sit flat. The arms fold in, the legs go into the side. His head actually goes inside his crotch, which Take from that what you will. 
But I mean, it's actually a nice plain, aside from the little part that won't stay together. Anyways, all right, so eh, he may find a home as a robot. Let's move on to, ah, let's go with a stealth bomber. Maybe he'll be better. All right, once again, he stands, which is awesome. The second thing is, he has a prosthetic arm. He's a robot with a prosthetic arm. He's got a perfectly good hand up there, but over here, for whatever reason, they decided to attach the claw. Sorry, this guy is this guy is officially now known as Captain Hook. Uh, now let's see if he transforms any better. He actually looks like he's going to transform slightly differently because of the angled appendages, but. I'm pretty sure that this part right here is just going to flip down, flip around, and then his head's going to end up in his crotch again. But, let's see. For those of you who are wondering, uh, that's the one we're looking at, and he's going to end up looking like that. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, so I got this far, but now I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do with the arms. By the way, his head actually folds up, so it's not going in his crotch. But... These arms are just mystifying me. Anyways, be right back. Okay. They're getting better. Again. So, this guy. Crap. This guy, actually kind of cool. I mean, he fits together well. He kind of hides most of the arm. The only thing is the weird tail thing. I'm tempted just to rip that arm off. You know what? Hang on. Mm. Now it looks like he has a trailer hitch. Anyways. Alright. So, that's what he was supposed to look like. That's what he looks like. Oh, if you take that thing off, he doesn't... S <sighs> Alright, on to the last one, the one that I can't figure out. Alright, well, we've got... Uh, whatever the hell these things are. And he doesn't stand up. At least on... Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe? <gasps> Holy crap! Okay, now let's take a look at the package. And let's see. So he's supposed to have wings and the giant. Giant guns. I don't have giant guns. I don't even have moderate sized guns. A holes. Anyways, uh, let's give it a shot. All right, there he is. Even though he doesn't have the giant freaking guns. I don't really see the difference between these steps. Oh well, let's get it to whatever that is. Really, you want me to flip the wing? Oh. All right, right back. Uh, yep. That's that that's it. Except I'm supposed to flip the stupid wings around. Oh no. I put them on Ugh, whatever. Anyways, that's what you get for having me assemble something. Now in almost putting this guy together, basically all you do is you stand him up, you put him down. Stand him up, put him down. Now he's got all kinds of moving parts and he near he's damn near split in half. Now I don't know why that is, but I mean his legs do this kind of thing. And he comes apart. He's got little red doobie jobs inside there. Flip the arm around there. He's got a hand, and then you go like that. And his head flips. 
but there's no point to his head flipping. This is the kind of toy that I would launch with bottle rockets as a kid. Anyway, so these are the quick change robot system things. This one and this one will be joining my desk in a converted form. These two will probably hang out as robots because this guy actually looks kind of cool in the robot form once I flip the wings around. I didn't want to give credit and credit is due. These are all from Polyfect Toys. Uh, so if you're ever in Hong Kong and you want to stop by, uh, go ahead and go there and say, two, two, two out of four were good. So I'm kind of impressed. Now, for eight bucks, awesome. I got some toys, got some enjoyment out of it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, for Pikachu, for Maximo, and for Voodoo, and for whatever the hell these guys are called. I'm Jack Allaire. Play on.